everyone, welcome back to my channel. Wow, that clap was really aggressive. I scared my dog. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lucy, lay down. Lucy's recovering from surgery, so I scared her with my clap and now she's standing. Lay down. Anyway, welcome back to my channel. I am Christy. If you are new here, I am so glad you're here. Today, I am going to be talking about summer in Chicago. Summertime shy, Kanye. I wish I could play that song in this video, but as we all know, I'll get copyrighted. But anyway, look up that song to be transported to, what year did that come out? Okay, I'm a mess today, obviously. I am a mess because I've tried to film this video all day and I have been too caught up in the new music releases of the day, Olivia Rodrigo's album, Sour, and BTS's new song and music video, Butter. So basically I've been like weeping and then vibing and weeping and vibing all day. So <laughs> it's been a lot, <laughs> but, with all that aside, I've been trying to film this video. It is a summertime in Chicago video. And what we're focusing on in this video is specifically summer of 2021. What this summer is going to look like in Chicago, what is reopening, what usual events are actually coming back this year, the rules, the regulations, everything is changing all the time. So I wanted to provide you guys one video that will kind of have all that information. Of course, all of that can change. As we know, if we learned anything in the last year and a half, things can change on a dime. So if there's any major changes, I will go ahead and comment and like pin the comment below so that if there's any updates, you guys can come back and reflect on that. I thought it would be helpful to have all of this in one video. So if you are visiting Chicago this summer, you have all of it in one place. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do so below. Go ahead, click that button. If you want to click the bell while you're down there, that'd be great too. That gives you notifications, lets you know when I post a new video. I would really appreciate it. Subscribing really does help me out and helps me grow my channel. So I would just really appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. I thought this was the perfect time to do this video because when this video is posted, the following weekend is Memorial Day weekend. So that will be this weekend when you're watching it. Inception. Memorial Day tends to kick off the tourist season in Chicago. A ton of people come here in the summer because it's so fun here in the summer. So I thought this would be a good time to put out this video. So this is gonna be a quick and casual update on what is going on in Chicago this summer, what I would do if I was visiting and kind of the current mask situation and anything regarding that. So let's just knock off the mask COVID restriction regulation thing right off the bat so that we can be done with it and moving on. Illinois and Chicago are following the CDC recommendation of no more masks inside or outside if you're vaccinated. Masks are still really prevalent in Chicago. They just made this announcement. They just changed the rules. But basically what Chicago is doing is that they're putting it on the businesses to kind of create their own rules. If they want customers to wear masks when they're in their store or restaurant, they are asking businesses to go ahead and put that very clear at the entrances of the restaurants. Obviously with the whole vaccination thing, I think a lot of restaurants and businesses don't really know how to approach that yet. They haven't been given a lot of information on how they're supposed to be checking if people are vaccinated. It's kind of a cluster, but hopefully in the coming weeks, Weeks, there'll be more information and more of an idea of how they're kind of rolling out these big changes. So what does this mean for you? What this means for you as someone who is visiting Chicago is that you should definitely have masks with you and on your person at all times, because I have a feeling that a ton of establishments will still require you to wear a mask when you're kind of in and wandering around, especially in, in indoor space. So I would just keep your mask with you. That's what I'm going to do. I know places like the Trader Joe's near me, you don't need to wear a mask now if you're vaccinated. I haven't gone to see like what that means really, but just to be safe, I would have masks with you. I know a lot of places like museums are still requiring masks. So just keep that in mind when you're visiting. Also public transportation requires masks. So bring masks and I don't know. That's probably the biggest thing that'll be updated over the coming weeks. So I will try to keep you guys in the loop. Now I'm gonna share some tips as well as some fun things to do in Chicago this summer that are back. I'm so excited. So the first thing is regarding restaurants, things are back to pretty full capacities. Um, I don't know if it's at hundred percent, but things are at very high capacities now. But even with that in mind, I would try to make as many reservations as possible, especially if you have a restaurant that you are like desperate to try while you're in town. I have found that reservations are still very necessary in Chicago for restaurants. So I would just try to be on top of that and reserve as many things as you can, especially if it's a super popular restaurant or bar or a very popular place on Instagram. I know that sounds ridiculous, but if a place has like gone viral on Instagram, it's gonna be really hard to get into. So places like rooftop bars, I know like Cindy's is open again on Michigan Avenue. That's a great spot to get drinks, dinner, get an amazing view. 
you need to reserve that. Reserve that way in advance. So I would just definitely keep that in mind for restaurants especially. While you're making reservations for restaurants, I would go ahead and make reservations for as many activities as you can. Almost all the museums are back open now. The Art Institute has an incredible Monet exhibit right now that's running through the summer. The Art Institute is releasing tickets a few weeks out from the day, so definitely keep an eye out on that. The Science and Industry Museum does have an amazing Marvel exhibit. I went and saw it, it's so freaking cool. But that is booked out until August, the last I checked. So if you are planning a Chicago trip this summer and you really wanna see the Marvel exhibit, check the dates literally right now, see what the situation is and try to get in there later this summer. Navy Pier has finally reopened. So if you are traveling to Chicago with kids this summer, that is a great option of a place to check out. The Ferris wheel, the other rides, restaurants are all open again. So this summer is the perfect time to go back to Navy Pier. The architectural boat tours are also open again. So that is another great thing that I'd recommend. So if you're coming to Chicago this summer, check out a boat tour. They're so fun. I actually talked about a bunch of sites to see or not see in Chicago in a recent video. So I'll go ahead and link that up here so you guys can check it out. I talk more about the boat tours in that. Music festivals will be back this summer and at full capacity, mind blown. So Lollapalooza will be coming the last weekend of July and Pitchfork and Riot Fest will be returning in September. So from what I can tell, Pitchfork and Lollapalooza are handling COVID things in a similar way. You will have to prove your vaccination or a negative COVID test before entering. The tricky part with that is going to be that you need to have a COVID test within 24 hours of the day you are going to the festival. So I'm not quite sure how that's gonna work with the three day festival. That feels like a really tight turnaround to get one every single day, but I'm sure that they're gonna provide more details as it gets closer. And I'm sure they will keep everyone updated as it gets closer and as things change and become a little more clear. If you're visiting Chicago this summer, I highly recommend you get tickets to a sporting event. I'm not a sporty spice, but I still love going to games. I think going to sports games, <laughs> sports games, <laughs> sporting events is super fun. <laughs> Obviously a big draw in Chicago is going to see the Cubs play at Wrigley Field. It is a historic stadium. It's super fun to go to a baseball game. Tickets are a little bit more expensive now and harder to get just because they're actually good now. So an alternative I will offer to you is to go see a Chicago Fire soccer game. They are so much fun. And actually this summer, they're not playing at their usual stadium in the suburbs. They are playing at Soldier Field right downtown. Soldier Field is an amazing stadium. It is gonna be so fun to see soccer games there. Plus the tickets are really inexpensive. So if you wanna see a sporting event while you're here, I definitely recommend a Chicago Fire game and I might even see you there. Block parties and neighborhood festivals are starting to announce their return for 2021. Block parties and neighborhood festivals in Chicago are like one of my favorite things about living here. So if you are visiting, you have to do some research and check out a block party while you're here. They are so much fun. I know that Chinatown is back with their summer festival in July and the Hyde Park Jazz Festival is happening again in September. Oh, I'm so excited for both of those. I would highly recommend that if you have a neighborhood you wanna explore in Chicago, that you research before your trip any neighborhood festivals going on because I can guarantee there'll be one this summer and it will be so much fun. They have live music, a bunch of amazing food, different pop-up shopping options, and it is just the most fun thing ever. Beaches are gonna be open to full capacity this summer. So excited about that. You should definitely check out a beach while you're in Chicago. Lake Michigan is absolutely beautiful. So if you're staying in the Loop or downtown area, downtown beaches like Oak Street Beach or North Avenue Beach are definitely be the closest proximity, but those beaches get crazy crowded in the summer like the weekends it's like a sea of people which is my least favorite thing to beach i like you know a little bit of calmness to relax and just hang out but that's just my opinion my favorite beach in chicago is on the north side in the edgewater neighborhood it is called osterman beach also known as hollywood beach and while it can obviously get crowded on the weekends, it does not get anywhere near as crowded as the downtown beaches. And it's just a lot cleaner and it's just a really nice vibe. So I highly recommend that beach up there if you wanna check out a beach this summer in Chicago. So those are a few things that are coming back this summer that are at full capacity this summer, as well as just a couple tips on how to handle traveling to Chicago this summer. I feel like I've probably missed a bunch of different things. So if you guys have any questions, seriously comment below. I'll respond to every comment or question and do my best to help you. Again, I would bring your masks. You'll need them on public transportation still and a bunch of businesses are probably still gonna require them. So I'd keep your masks handy, even if you're vaccinated. I am so excited for summer in Chicago. I really hope you guys have some plans to come visit this summer. Again, leave comments below. I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>